Welcome to this morning edition of uh, King's Manual. My name is Pastor Francis Kaluigi. Uh, today we are in uh, the book of Job chapter 14. Yes, chapter 14. I know this scripture, many of the times we hear of this scripture is at the funeral. But today we want to dive into this scripture and uh, get to our salvation. I'm reading from Job chapter 14, verse number 1 and 2. Man who is born of a woman is of few days and full of trouble. He comes forth like a flower and he fades away. He flees like a shadow and he does not continue. A man who is born of a woman. I believe when Job's in his lamentation, after he finishes talking to his friends, he concluded himself to this statement, man who is born of a woman. I want to qualify something here because uh, one would want to ask uh, who is a man who is born of a woman? Uh, do we have other men who is born of another? The fact is that you need to realize that a woman who is described right now here, he is talking about a man who is born from the genealogy of Eve. Amen? So Job now he brings the scenario that a man who is born of a woman. So we need to understand if you have a friend next to you, ask them, are you born of a woman? Every human being is born of a, of a woman, is born from a womb of a woman. So we qualify that each one of us is born of a woman. Number two, he says, has or is of few days full of trouble. The few days full of trouble. Amen. So I want to make you understand saying in the few days full of trouble, it means on this earth that we live, we live of few days. I don't know how old you are, but there's an appointed time for you that you have to leave this earth. You might be at 70, others might be at 90, others, some of us will be up about 125. Others, at every particular time, there's an appointed time that you have to leave this world or this earth. So Job says, man born of a woman is of few days full of trouble. Oh, hold on. I thought we we're supposed to enjoy here. Job wants you and I to understand, saying, in our few days that we have, there is part of it which is full of trouble. But the few days that you have which they don't have trouble, I want to pose a question to you. What impact are you doing in these few days that you have? What impact? Are you doing or are you going to live in the few days when your time comes the impact that you live I know uh, 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 some of us are saying no uh, 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 I'm doing well with business others are saying no I'm doing well with education career and so forth beloved this is not my point I know all those things are good but the question I have is, what will it benefit a man to gain everything on this earth and loses their soul? Yes, I pose that question because I want you to go in your thought to understand that you are living on this earth for a short period of time. It's not about you amassing the wealth to yourself, but it's the impact that you make on this earth for Christ. Amen. What impact are you leaving for your God? When you are called on that day, what are you going to stand and to be accountable for? Man born of a woman has few days and he, he, he comes forth like a flower and he fades away. When your life discontinue, the question I leave with you is what impact are you going to leave? Beloved, God bless you. Shalom, shalom. For more great devotion videos, do subscribe on Mubanga Media just down there.
red button. Thank you.